Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell and welcome to another GZ Doom Builder tutorial. Tonight I thought I'd show you guys how to create a PK3 file for use with your own GZ Doom wads. Alright, the first thing you want to do is you, would, you want to um, load up Slade. <clears throat> and then you want to go up here and click on the second icon, New Zip Archive. Click on that. Okay, after you do that, you want to uh, make uh, a couple of new directories. The first one we will name um, textures and the second folder we will name flats. Now, even though uh, GZ Doom Builder allows you to use textures and flats for walls or ceilings or floors, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, I prefer to keep my textures and my flats separate. And a reason for that is because textures, um, they come in various sizes. Whereas flats, they are always 64 by 64, usually. And so because of this, I like to keep my flats separate from my textures. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so after you create the two folders, um, we're going to close this temporarily. Actually, wait, wait. Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. You have to go through this all over again. Okay, that's fine. Textures and um, getting ahead of myself here. Okay, and flats. And then we want to save as. Now I'm going to be using this PK3 file in um, the tutorials that are coming up next where I show you guys how to create your own really cool city scene for GZ Doom. And if you follow along in my tutorials, you too will be creating this really cool city scene that you can play on your own computer. So we're making the PK3 file for these upcoming um, GZ Doom Builder tutorials. So, okay, we're gonna call it <coughs> this PK3 file. Um, city, um, scene, city scene tutorial. Okay. <clears throat> and we're going to save it as a PK3 file. Okay. All right. Now we can close it. And we're going to load up um, my own PK3 file so we can grab some textures and some flats from it. Okay. And we'll open up the, um, the PK3 file that we're working on. <clears throat> and we'll open up the textures folder. And let's go through here and get some cool textures for our city scene. Hmm. 
Lots of cool textures there to choose from. Okay, we'll need that one. So, copy and paste. <clears throat> we'll need that one. Yeah, some of these wall textures are really nice. They're, they're pretty nice. We'll need that one. We'll need that one for sure. I think I'll use that one too. I'll show you guys how to do stuff with that one. With that one. Entry, paste, okay, and the side size of it. Copy and paste it. <coughs> Might even use that one too. We'll have two of them out there. Okay. And that one. Okay. Mm, we're going to need this because we're going to have some trucks backed in um, to the loading docks. So, actually, what I could do... Okay, hold on just a minute. Okay. There's six parts of that truck. Um, yeah, there's six parts. So, we'll do it like that. Copy. And paste. <clears throat> use that one. We'll have a coffee shop in the corner of the parking lot. We'll take that one. Um, and we also need that wall there. So copy and paste.
we'll use that one. <coughs> Yeah, this city scene that I'm going to show you guys how to create, um, I think you'll really enjoy it. So, yeah. Okay. So that's it for the textures. Um, let me go ahead and save this real quick. Okay, now we're going to go to the flats. There's a few flats I want to use. Okay, so go through there. <clears throat> Is that the sidewalk one? Yeah, I want that one. The sidewalk. Definitely going to need that one. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to need that one. So, copy and paste. Mm. <coughs> okay, that's it for the flats. So, I don't need this anymore. And this one here, we'll go ahead and quickly save it. All right, the next thing you need to do is you go back into your your textures uh, folder and you select all of your textures like that. You right click, go down the graphics and you add to texture X. Now at first it will come up with this because there is no file or folder called texture X so it has to create it first okay so make sure you, you select Z doom textures and click on OK now it hasn't added those yet all it did was create the file and there's nothing in it so we're gonna add the textures and the flats to this file Okay, once again, you select all of them, you right click, and add to texture X. Okay, you want to do the same thing with your flats. The same thing with your flats. Okay. Now we go back into our textures, um, well, textures folder, and once again select all of them. Okay. And this time we're going to add to patch table. Okay, do the same thing with your flats. Okay. Um, add to patch table. And once you've done that, you go up here and you save your PK3. Okay. And what it did, it, you know, it created this file here. So that GZ Doom or whatever Doom you're using knows what to do with your textures. Okay. Yeah. So we will be using this PK3 file in the upcoming GZ Doom tutorials. So stay tuned for these tutorials. Um, I'll be posting one per week. And if you uh, tag along with me, you know, and do the tutorials on your own computer, you will draw a really nice city scene that you'll be proud of. Um, there are two, okay, the old ways of, of adding textures to a Doom wide was you would copy the graphics directly over to your your wide or your map, okay? 
and then you would rename those textures to a, um, a file that's in the Doom 2 IWOD. Okay? And so, but you have to be careful because, okay, your standard WOD um, resolutions or dimensions are 64 by 128, 128 by 128, and um, 256 by 128. And there's also smaller textures like 16 by 128 or, you know, um, 64 by 72, you, you get the idea. And then, of course, your flats, they're all 64 by 64. And so you'd have to be very careful which file you chose to replace with your file and to, and to give your file the same name so that it shows up in your Doom map that you're creating and, and it shows up in the editor. Um, but by creating a PK3 file, you can name your graphics anything you want, up to eight characters, and you can group your graphics together, like in different groupings, you know. Like, for instance, if we go to the textures folder here, right, you'll see that the truck graphics are all together. The store graphics are together with the palette. The snack graphics and the cola, they're all together. The doors are all together. The walls are all together. And so you can really organize your PK3 file so that when you're using GZ Doom Builder, it's a lot easier to find the graphic or the, um, the flap that you want to use, you know, because they're, they're grouped, they're organized. And you can't really do this in the old, you know, the old fashioned way. So I highly recommend using a PK3 file. Now, um, make sure that after you create your map with a PK3 file, that when you zip it up, you include the PK3 file along with the map in your zip, um, along with the, uh, what is it, text file that's required, okay? Now, you can also add your Doom map directly into the PK3 file. But I don't want to overwhelm you guys too early. I mean, I don't want to overwhelm you guys, so I'm not going to show you that until a later um, episode. But for now, this is how you create a PK3 file that you can use for creating your own Doom maps and adding custom graphics to your own Doom maps. In the next tutorial, we're going to actually start drawing the map. And I'm going to show you the, uh, the tricks of the trade that we uh, professional map builders that we use. You know, I'm going to show you some of my tips and tricks. And uh, I think you guys will really enjoy this series. I mean, if you, if you like Doom and GZ Doom, Brutal Doom and all that, and you've always wanted to create your own maps to play and for other people to enjoy all over the world, well, watch my tutorials, okay? Anyway, um, that's it for this GZ Doom tutorial. My name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time,